What's going on everybody? You already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. So today, let's talk about changing your head. So if you notice in some of my videos, I have a uh, Doomba here that the head is gone. Um, I'm talking about gone. I haven't changed this head since I bought this Doomba. And I think I bought it. I think I bought this in like 2000. I don't remember when I bought these congas. It may be 2004. No, 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 no. I bought these in 2007. 2007, babe. So we're in 2018 and I haven't changed this one head since 2007. I know a lot of y'all probably like, Oh my gosh, he doesn't take care of his drums. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I know he doesn't know how to play congas because he doesn't take... Um, for me, I guess it was sentimental value. Uh, didn't really want to change this one. Ah. If you notice and look around, it has a lot of bumps and bruises, scrapes, scratches on the head. The head is tilted and ah, it's nuts the way it looks like. And I know like for a lot of you guys, yeah. First thing, things happen. Um, when I was first starting out, I didn't really know how to take care of um, my drum heads. Um, and then, especially with this one, when I finally figured out how to uh, take care of drum heads, um, this was way past repair. Um, and I just didn't want to buy a new head. But if you notice here in the front, oh, it looks so beautiful, so nice, nice and straight. But then when you start to turn it, you start to see how it starts to, it starts to get a little bit crazy. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, Eric, what were you doing? Oh my gosh. Ah. But today we're going to change this drum head. And I know a lot of you guys were like, Eric, I've been playing Gwanga since forever. Come on, man. You got to teach me. A lot of beginners out there don't know. And this is just my way. After doing this, I never experienced a head going this way. I was just procrastinating. I didn't want to let this drum go. I love this head, but it is time. Uh, if you saw in the last video, my gosh. My Super Tumba Gonga and my yeah, other Tumba. Like I had to stop, like it took me a while. I stuttered to name because I didn't even recognize because it looked so ugly. And I was like, Boy. It's just time, but I need to go get a drum head. Let me get one real quick. And for you guys, I bought more. And don't worry, I, I got, where, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, <laughs> I'm, look, I have lost at least like 50 of these in my lifetime. Like, and I have them everywhere. I have, I just leave them, they, f look, 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 look. You see, things happen. 
I drop them all the time. I'm out and about all the time. So I got two more. Okay. I, I know I have like five somewhere around here. So yeah, thanks to Paul and Chucks, always hooks it up. And if you're in the DMV and you don't know what Washington Music Center is, shame on you, shame on you. Let's put this baby on. So obviously with the head you're trying to get rid of, you just wanna be careful with your rim, with your lugs. This is a good time to try to clean your drums. But yeah, you wanna make sure your lugs are good. You wanna make sure if Anything's missing. All right, so let's do this. Um, what I do normally, I just start getting my wrench and go one by one. Just one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. I know that this is the drum we're replacing. There's no need to do that. You could just unloose all of them all one by one, but I just wanna know the condition of the Lux to see how they're looking at, how far some have gone down and yeah. So time lapse. So let me take a pause right here, kind of like what I suspected. Um, the back ones are already very much loose. You could actually turn them if you want. See here, you kind of turn them if you want. And then if you look at the ones here in the front, they still got a long way to go. You could tell that either during my live playing, all I did was tune these right here in the front and they didn't even care about the ones in the back. Um, that was just a rookie mistake when I first started. Um, and I know it's just easier access and that's okay to do it during a live setting, but you have to remember and adjust yourself and untune those parts that you did and make sure that each lug is even. After doing this, um, what I do is, um, I, I don't want to take this whole thing out. Um, I checked my lugs not so long ago, so I know they're good, but what I do is I just loosen it up enough and just try to take the hook out. So what I do is um, I loosen it up enough um, so I don't have to take the whole hook out and I just lean it like that. All right, let's take a look inside. Um, what I do is I take it. Um, the rim looks good, doesn't look bad. Good. All right, let me put this on right here. All right, let's try to take this thing off. <laughs> Man. LP862. The wood looks good. Um, doesn't look bad. So that's good. Ooh. <sighs> Time to take this one off. All right. Time to put the new one on. Beautiful. All right, what I do is I grab the hoop um, and I line the, at least on mine, um, whatever logo you have, um, LP in this case, um, to the bar where I grab right here. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but to that bar. So I try to line that up. Also, if you see my little Salvador thing, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. After doing that, what I try to do is I start to hook them in.
So after I hooked on each one, what I tend to do, and this is just my preference, I feel the bottom of each lug. And what I do is I try to hand tighten each one so I could feel the hook at the bottom of the lug. What that lets me do, know is how even each hook is t for every lug. After I hand tighten each one, I tighten each one with the same hand to prevent uneven balances. Sometimes one hand is stronger than the other, so you want you know, one hand to be doing all the work. I normally do it on my weaker hand, simply because I know that I'm not gonna try to, you know. All right, now for the fun part. So we have it mounted. Um, if you look, it kinda has like a little, like scoop into it, so it's not flat, but it looks beautiful. Um, you can see the wood grain through. All right, so for this part, um, what I normally do is I just do one full turn on each lug, just one full turn. So before doing that, I just hit it, and it sounds like crap. After doing one turn, I hit it again. It still sounds like crap. After the third time, I hit it one more time. It sounds like uglier crap. After the fourth time, I hit it again. After the fifth time, now it's starting to get some body. Um, if you see, if you notice, after the fifth time I do a turn, the scoop is still kind of uh, uneven, but uh, it's starting to make shape. Normally, when you're tuning and you're breaking in the head for the first time, especially these mass-produced rawhide heads, you're gonna get the ugliest sound in the world. I can remember the first time I, I changed my head. Oh my gosh. I thought I broke my conga, like no joke. It made the biggest crack, like crack, crack, crack. It, it made the biggest cracking sound in my life and I was like what is going on right now I don't I don't really know what's going on so if you make that sound it's just the head kind of like stretching and breaking in making its shape so for the sixth time now it's starting to resonate starting to have a little bit of body in it for the seventh time That sounds pretty beautiful right there. Um, what I do at this point, I see that it has some body in it. Um, I check each lug, make sure each lug isn't ugly looking or anything. I hit, I slap it in the middle. Um, by doing that, whenever you're slapping it really hard in the middle, it's kind of like Stretching, making sure. If you remember the sound, I bet you that's gonna sound a lot different now. And most of the time it sounds a little bit better. Um, in this case it did. But the reason why you wanna hit it is you want it to kinda like spread out the love. I'm gonna turn it one more time just to see what kind of sound it's going to give me. That thing sounds beautiful. Try to listen to see if something's unbalanced. Um, again, always check your lugs. Um, and going forward, I'm gonna try to take care of this head. But if you look at it and you examine the head, it looks extremely even throughout the whole way. Um, it looks beautiful, it's not lifted up like crazy. And uh, RIP, <laughs> RIP, look at this thing. My goodness. I know you guys were probably expecting a technical video today, but um, don't worry, they're coming. But y'all already know. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys have a great day.